Now art takes many exciting forms and uses new mediums. And it requires a scientist to be an artist today. Someone who understands, as the young Israeli sculptor Zvia does. Zvia has been commissioned to create a chandelier which could be adapted for any room. She starts by mixing colour with perspex cement. Zvia picked on perspex as the modern material which would enable her to ring the changes in colour and light and shape. To make sculptures that would alter themselves by movement or be altered by built-in controls like lenses or dimmers. She's making a sandwich now of polished perspex and coloured cement, one of her new techniques. Zvia, who won a distinction in arts and crafts eight years ago, believes that sculpture must be a thing of shapes related to people and colours that they themselves can switch, altering the all-important background. She uses three techniques in this new Perspex sculpture, never before evolved or attempted. For the parts that show, she needs cellophane sheets to keep the polish free of the sandwiched colour. It's taken a big chemical firm, as well as Veer, to work all the problems out. The sandwich of plastic sheets and gluey colour must be made rubbery in an infrared oven before it can be clamped and blown into semi-global shape. Just note how much scientific craft there is behind this modern art. Zvia has worked out a whole routine for dyeing and sticking bubbles of perspex and sheets and rods in a way that the colour and shape of a room can be altered at the touch of a switch. Blimey, how sculptures changed! Even the dye for this new raw material for the sculptor has to be chemically defined. What are things coming to these days? The plastic rods are dyed in boiling colour stuff and hauled out of it with copper wire. It's complicated and you'll see the end product comes into exciting focus. This is the new functional sculpture using transparencies and lights and lenses. This colourful world, which we all of us know, reproduced in perspex and as shifting as the standards by which we judge today.